Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today I have a very quick video tutorial that's gonna show you how to use a brand new 100% free plugin for Photoshop called Ditto. And basically it allows you to use variables in Photoshop. All right, so this is the page for it. It's casualnotebook.com slash ditto. And I'm not gonna bother explaining exactly how everything works. I'd rather just show you. So what you need to do is visit this URL and click download. And it will allow you to specify the amount you want to pay. It's already showing me this page because I have already done it before. But initially, it will show you an area where you have to enter a dollar amount. And you could just put zero. And then just hit OK. And then it will give you this screen right here in which you click download. All right. So basically, it will download it. And once you open that up, it's going to show you this folder here. And you want to just drag this to your desktop or extract it somewhere on your computer. Now, inside of this, we have an installer.jsx. That's what we need to open up with Photoshop. So we'll go to Photoshop, go to File, and Scripts, and Browse. It's at the very bottom. It's not showing up on my screen. And what we want to do now is basically go to the area where we have this installer.jsx. Hit Load. And basically what that will do is press OK to start the installation. Hit OK complete okay you have to restart Photoshop I'll do that real quickly and then to ensure that it worked correctly you just go to window Oop, one second window extensions and ditto you click on that and this is the ditto plugin right here so basically let's open up a Photoshop document now I, I'm using one that I created before for my own site, a mock-up of a website. And uh, if you don't have your own mock-up of a website, you can just create a new document and just follow along with this, basically. So as we could see here, we see we have a lot of different layers, uh, actually a ton of different layers, because this is a rather long document. And there's a lot of text layers and object layers, etc. Now, one great usage for these uh, ditto, for the Photoshop variables, would come into play when we have multiple elements of something, like we can see these paragraphs and these headings. So if we wanted to experiment with the font size, we would have to change each one individually, or the font color, we would have to change one each individually. Uh, and that's where ditto really comes into play and makes life a little bit easier. So the way this works is, if we click over here, and we can see that we have three different field types. We have the type, variable name, and the variable value. Now for the field type, you have fill, which means to change something to a color. You have text, which can literally change the text that you specify in value. Visibility, font size, family, color, height, X and Y positions. So the first step is to specify your type. Well, basically, let's try to change the, make it easy to change the font size of these four paragraphs. So we'll specify font size, and the variable name will specify uh, pair of size, I guess, right here. And the value will go ahead and specify 24 pixels. Currently, the size of these paragraphs are 20 pixels. All right. So once you have your variable created, you have to find you have to have a way to basically connect uh, this variable to the layer themselves. The way you do that is you find the layer over here, and we can see it has a name, and you can leave the name if you wish, and just add a hashtag para size at the very end, or you could just go like this, para size, and that's all the, the name has to be. Also to note, you can add multiple variables that control multiple things. So if you also want to be able to easily control the color, you just create a new variable by clicking this plus sign, and then you append the variable name at the end here. Okay, so let's go ahead, I'm just gonna copy that, and we'll select each one of these by, by the way, I have the move tool with auto select layer selected. That's why you know, I just click on it and it automatically selects the layer on the side. And there we go. I have all four updated. And let's see if this works. Currently, they're size 20. And we're going to change it to size 24. So make note, just look here and watch how they change when I hit this refresh. There, there we go. You see a little bit of work so that's done automatically over here in the layers and it automatically updates that for us. So I could change this again, maybe if I wanna try 16 pixels, we'll see what that looks like. All right, so let me get up to like around 100%. See, obviously that doesn't, that was too small. So I think we're just gonna go back to 20. 
All right, and so let's add one more. You click the plus sign, we'll specify font color. We'll call this para color. And let's go ahead and append para color. I'll just copy that, paste this, and finally this one as well. And now we can enter a hex value without the hashtag. And so let's say for example, currently the color is right here is like a mid gray. What if we wanted to go a little bit lighter? We'll take 5D, 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 and switch back here and specify just right there without the hashtag and hit refresh. And now we could see they it lightens all of them up. And so that's basically how the ditto variable plugin works. And so if you need help understanding what type of values to it, it, it'll accept, you just go on the page and variable types, it tells you what is acceptable. So for visibility, you can specify on or off. Font size, it's pixel value, font family, postscript, name of a typeface, font color, same as the fill, which is just a hex value without the numbers or the, the hashtag, and then the line height and X and Y positions. Very cool stuff. All right, so hopefully you'll find that usable are very useful for any future projects that you have. And that's it. So I uh, yeah, I am taking a break, by the way, um, for this week off of the design challenge. So expect a new design challenge coming up next Tuesday. I've been extremely busy. Sorry about that. All right, so talk to you later. Goodbye. <laughs>